a big thank you to our fantastic crowd here in St. Louis uh, for the tremendous support. Uh, it's kind of um, entered into an entertaining game. Six goals is uh, a, a nice thing to 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 have and to show the fans. So um, it was um, obviously it's always important to start uh, with three points into the qualifying campaign. It's a long run that we have ahead of us. It was. Uh, a nice performance by the, by the group, good good energy from, from the players, they always try to add another one and uh, against the team that was basically uh, putting a wall around their 18 yard box. Just to be able to score a goal, you know, in a World Cup qualifier, uh, there's nothing like it. It was my first goal and it's just an amazing feeling and I, I hope and pray that I progress as a player and score more. To start with, uh, you have to win at home, that's non-negotiable. Once you're able to do that, then you start looking for ways on the road to, to come away with points. And you know you're not going to win every game on the road, um, but there will be moments along the way where opportunities present themselves to, to come away with three points, and we have to be ready for, ready for that. Trinidad and Tobago is my first away World Cup qualifier. I feel like they're going to be an aggressive team. You know, they're playing at home. They understand the circumstances, and I feel like they're going to come out uh, guns blazing from the beginning. Points on the road are, are very, very important. You know, obviously, you want to win every game. You know, we're going to come here with the attitude we want to beat Trinidad and Tobago. So we want three points, you know. Then it depends all how the game goes. You know, there's so many unknown factors that come into a game like this that you have to to handle them and you have to make the best out of it. If at the end of the day you come away with a point then because of however the game went and you accept it because uh, you made sure that the, the home team didn't get the three points. It's a lot that, that you, you can't count on and so it's important in these moments that the group understands what playing in games like this is all about and it may not be perfect every second, it may not be pretty every second, but the mentality has to be such that from the second that whistle blows until, until the end, we're determined to stick together and do whatever we need to to, to come away with a result. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stories and you know, just I think the biggest part is just being mentally prepared. We all know that we have qualities in our team, but if we're not mentally prepared for this battle, his skills won't really matter. In St. Louis, we played at home, and we had numerous American fans behind us, supporting us. Now we're away in Trinidad Tobago, and we're going to come into an environment where the fans are not going to like us, you know, they're going to be shouting things, but uh, I love that environment, you know. I love it when the crowd hates you, because uh, when your team score, the, the, the crowd goes silent, so um, I just love that, you know, it makes me feel comfortable playing in front of fans who are screaming and hating you. The blueprint is always pretty similar. It's having to be organized and committed, making sure that we, we don't give too much away, knowing that at some point we'll get some chances. They, they could come on set pieces, they could come uh, on counterattacks, they could come through good football. However they come, we have to be ready when the chances do come to take advantage when we have our chance. 